All right, guys, here are today's top stories in our What in the World segment. Number one, this has to be the funniest accusation I've ever come across, if at all true. There is a gentleman who is claiming that President Ruto, at one point in his lifetime, had the title deed of Procession Road. Procession Road, not some five acres somewhere. This is a title deed of an entire road. <laughs> Here's the tip. This same president auctioned Procession Road, the road from Serena to State House. He got a title deed went to KCB and he borrowed some money against it. It is when Kibaki took over because we needed the road that he handed over to the Ministry of Lands the titles that he had already taken uh, some loan with it. So they say hold hab habits die hard. Uh, there's a road that leads from State House down into town. It's called Processional Way. Uh, Mr. Ruto actually returned the titles to that, to that road in 2003 after the NARC uh, election. In what capacity had he ended up owning a road is the question you should ask him. So if he was auctioning a public road at that particular time, calling it some kind of um, a plot, taking it to KCB and getting some money, I can't remember how much, I think it could have been 9 million or so, which was a lot of money those days when a member of parliament was earning 18,000. Then later on he had now to return those titles. So given a chance, he has done those three. Even carbon credit in my auction all the national parks and the forests in Kenya. And you'll be a shareholder in the company that is giving us uh, what we call carbon credit. That would be conflict of interest against... Already it is conflict of interest. Adani, the company that reg they registered in Kenya... Subsidiary. Uh -huh. Subsidiary of Adani, I'm sure, either through proxy or himself, are shares in that company. I've told you before that William Luther cannot do anything unless there is something in it for him. Even what looks like innocent public, uh, but, uh, public uh, uh, encounter, all the time he will be looking for what is in it for him. I, for one, never even knew it's possible to have the title deed of a road. I think that gentleman, Ameanza uh, Itunaita, story at Jabba. Second story of the day, we currently have an ongoing public university strike. The lecturers are coming together in uh, solidarity and saying we are not going to teach students until our grievances are addressed. And there is a lecturer who decided to nonetheless go on and proceed with an online class because no one can see them. The lecturer is teaching from home. The students are logging in from their homes, probably Zoom or whatever, Skype. But this lecturer has caught wind. There's a student who ratted out that lecturer and sent the link to those other people in the union. And they joined that Zoom meeting to lecture that lecture. <laughs> Here's a tip. So can you yes, the and class? I want to reiterate what the chairman is saying. This is Dr. Maloba Wekesa here. And I want all those students who are also there to actually sign out of this. This is one of the biggest betrayals that we are having. Shame on the, the person who is actually in class right now. Chairman, you can continue. Yes, uh, we, we, you know, I'm, I'm asking you to end the class and wait until we are done with this track. I must oblige you cannot, me. You can't, you can't, you can't graduate students alone as an individual. You can't, we even when you thought at the end of the semester. You cannot I must graduate oblige. students. I must oblige, please. Uh, sir. Please, Chairman. please. Yeah, we are, mm -hmm. and we are many in class. We are so many in class. We don't want to be disrespectful. Please end it, yeah, amicably, so that your student can retain that respect for you and for all of us. I'm most obliged. So students, oh. we, we can log out, we'll wait. It's no wonder they're seeing solidarity forever. Anywho, moving on to the third story of the day, still touching on universities, there is a lecturer who is now trending because he looks like DP Rigadi Gashago. People are even saying perhaps Rigadi has already settled into his new life, whereby even if he survives in court and remains to be DP since they don't want him, he'll just be doing his things in private. Or even if they remove him, so be it. He'll go on lecturing students and just having a good time. Here's a tip. Now, to put things in context, that is not the deputy president of Kenya. It's just a random lecturer who does look fairly close like him. 
Now, at the end of the day, that's all I had for you guys in today's What in the World episode. If there's anything else you'd like for me to touch on, let me know on any of my social handles or in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to inculcate it in the next rollout. And with that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.